Hello, my friends. I'm Terry David Mulligan. This is the Mulligan Stew Podcast. I'll get straight to it. Our conversation is with Eric Wright. He's the cellist of a four-piece ensemble called The Fretless. And they are just amazing. They're simply amazing. The music they're making, the ground that they're breaking is quite remarkable. They are classically trained musicians. They can and do play with symphonies. Uh, they are sidemen. They are, but they're together. When they get together with Fretless, they take everything that they know from the classical music form, all of the training they've been given, and then they stretch it. They they shape it out. It's like um, it's like um, baking a pie. They just keep shaping that uh, dough until it gets right. In this case, their new album, I think it's their eighth is called Open House and they have they're literally opened their front doors and they have invited a list of artists to play with them to reimagine their own hits for example Dan Mangan for one uh, Noella Charles is part of this uh, ensemble Kaylee Cardinal and the Brothers Landreth because they're on the Brothers Landreth label birthday cake and I just thought it was just so good. We're going to have a conversation with Eric Wright, who is the cellist for the Fretless. And he uh, checked in with us from his home in Vermont. Our special guest is Eric Wright, a member of the Fretless. And if you haven't heard the music of the Fretless, I'm going to spin your wheel. They play classical instruments, violas, cellos, violins, but they invite artists to join them and reimagine their songs. Noella Charles, Dan Bangan, Kaylee Cardinal, the Brothers Landreth. That's what we're going to play for you, but that's just four of ten tracks, I think, on the album. Eric uh, describes what they do as modern folk, but it changes from gig to gig and album to album. So the Fretless, they're a Canadian modern folk group. They do a little of everything, and they all have rock and roll leanings as well. It shows itself in the arrangement and the structure. Uh, they're from Toronto, although Eric Wright uh, is from Vermont, married a Canadian. The other guys in the group are Trent Freeman, Carnell Sawatsky, and Ben Plotnick. Here's Fretless. I'm Terry David Mulligan, Mulligan Stew, CKUA Radio, and the Mulligan Stew Podcast. Eric Wright is on the line. He's a cellist, which means he's, uh, oh, truly, one of the special people on the planet. Have I found you in Vermont? Uh, yeah, from Vermont, but uh, transplanting to Canada. Uh, recently married my, my partner of eight years, and she's a Canadian. Ah, do you feel Canadian sometimes? You know, I, um, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'd like to say I, I am, I'm feeling more and more Canadian the longer I stay here. And, and the, the real truth of it is I, I, want, I want to be accepted as Canadian. So, you know, growing up in Vermont, uh, right on the Canadian border there, and, and all of our French names and of our towns and cities, uh, we always, I was always called the Canadian of the schools anyways, which <laughs> okay. is kind of ironic. The Fretless have been at it for some time now. Feels like 10 years. How long did it take to shape and form the four instruments uh, and, and what they would do? For example, you are as much the drummer as you are the cellist. Because you're totally. you're driving it, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I do a, a, a percussive technique. Uh, we all sort of do it, but I'm doing it for the most part as the primary. Um, and it's called chopping, where we use the bow hair to, to make a really tight, scratchy noise on the strings, and it makes that snare drum sound. Yeah, I like to call it beatboxing on the cello. You know, I well, you know, obviously I'm biased, but uh, I, I think that the chop uh, sounds especially great on the cello. It's just got a really nice medium tone for it. Uh, and and my cello in particular has taken the beating for long enough that I think it's proven that it can withstand withstand the onslaught. Classical music has a form of, and I, I'm well out of my element here, but I've listened to classical music all my life and studied it and took conducting and arranging. And I um, I, I I do know that uh, cellists and cellos have been galloping horses and uh, races and. Uh, when when fights are going, sword fights, for example, uh, oh, totally. hundreds of years ago, uh, it's been one of the roles that they have, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's always, uh, yeah, you listen to Mozart, uh, Beethoven, Bach, it's always the driving rhythmic force. Uh, lots of quarter notes, lots of eighth notes, lots of sixteenth notes, constantly pushing, right? And uh, 
that, that was my upbringing as well, classical music until I was, uh, you know, 18 years old. So there's a, there's two violins. There's a viola yep. and a cello. Yep. Does that change at all? Yeah, the only thing that changes is that uh, all three of our uh, talented fiddle players are also great viola players. So they take turns on the viola. Okay. Uh, and so, so they'll switch and they'll play fiddle sometimes. And then the only other arrangement that is different is that we'll have all three of those guys on fiddles and maybe no viola occasionally. Eric, have you experimented with electric instruments? In the fretless or personally? In, in, in the fretless. You know, we haven't. We've recent, recently been floating the idea of adding more effects. Uh, maybe some pedals, uh, some boards, ah, okay, uh, okay. and 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 experimenting with that. But we haven't. I'd be down though because you're you're hitting another one of my loves, which is I do a lot of electronic production of uh, dance music, uh, beats, uh, anything with rhythm. I'm just obsessed with. Waiting for the time to pass you by. Change will change your mind. I could give a thousand reasons why, and I know you, and you've got to make it on your own. But we don't have to grow up, we can stay forever young. Living on my sofa, drinking rum and cola underneath the rising sun. Eric Wright, uh, the cellist and the spokesperson on this day for The Fretless. He is a producer, he's an arranger, he's a cellist, and sometimes Canadian. Yeah. Uh, let's give them an example. Troubled Mind, uh, Dan Mangan, great friend. Yeah. I knew that this, even before I heard it, and I saw the title, I thought, oh, that'll work. Oh, that'll work. That'll be good. That'll be good. Yeah. Did you take his original vocals, or did you, uh, did you ask him to sing to your arrangement? 
Uh, we asked him to sing to our arrangement, uh, and obviously we were inspired by the original Holy and, and um, wanted to, to follow it in a way that he could sing it the way that he wanted to. Uh, and, and he said that he had always uh, wanted to try a, a chilled out, uh, like, you know, slightly more airy version of it. So I think he, he got to have some fun creatively with it as well. Very nice. It's, it's, perf- it's a great fit. You know that. Oh my God. I love it. I think it, it's just one of the, I mean, uh, obviously all of them are my favorites in certain ways, but I love that, that groove in particular. It's such a driving in your face groove and, uh, and that reimagined on the strings, uh, it just ends up being something, you know, something, something special about that one. I can't take the heat. Cause I got a troubled mind. History repeats, and you know I got a troubled mind. And it won't let up, it's like a bad dream. You say I got a troubled mind. I'm shaking like a sad teen. Gotta say I got a troubled mind. What the hell is wrong with everybody right now? Everywhere I look, it's the same. Dan Mangan, uh, and his troubled mind, as reimagined by the fretless, Eric Wright is the cellist. Uh, the name of the album is Open House. Now, you'll know the next artist. Well, you'll know all the artists. The next one is uh, the wonderful host of her own show at CKUA, Kayla Cardinal. And, um, oh, yeah. and the track is called Earthly Days. Um, tell me about uh, what was your approach? Did, did you, was it was it the song that, that attracted you or the artist? Yeah. Uh, you know, we had actually played with uh, William Prince, who is the, uh, the original uh, writer of that team. Right. Uh, and we had, we had played out with him in Shetland. Uh, and, uh, and, and that song in particular was one that just really touched us. Uh, such a beautiful song. It's only two chords, you know, uh, and, and very meditative and, uh, we were, we were drawn to it just for multiple reasons. And uh, after he- hearing Kaylee's voice and then uh, 
and having her to agree to be on the track is just her her version of it and the, all of the harmonies, the lush harmonies that she put into it, uh, which were all her idea. Um, it's it just turned out uh, so much better, and actually, I I would say is the one that I listen to the most still. It just is such a beautiful. She did such a great job because they're both. First Nations, does that yeah. play into it, uh, or was it just those are the voices you wanted? We felt that it was important to have Indigenous representation uh, for a song written by an Indigenous person. So oh. that did uh, okay. come into play, but it was an easy choice. We just thought that uh, it would do the song the most justice. This is Earthly Days, Kayla Cardinal. Just looking for some peace of mind Took us six years and four days to finally get married Look at me, getting all carried away from my fears Is where we will tarry on And I swear you could show me the light to Jesus Christ cause I want more than just these earthly days you can have all my earthly days go ahead take all my earthly days lay awake all night my That's Kelly Cardinal, and the track is called Earthly Days, written by William Prince. The album is called Open House, and it's the fretless. I, I loved it from the first, just the idea 
of these artists getting together oh, with, the, with these uh, instruments. Eric Wright is the chillest. Literally, he would be the Jimmy Page of the group. And basically... What a compliment. Um, <laughs> I will say that from my end, I, you know, I, if you're not a uh, self-deprecating and completely uh, up-in-the-air musician about your own skills, then, you know, you're, you're not a real musician if you don't question yourself at every turn. Uh, and so I would say that I hoped that it would work, but secretly really, really thought it would. Mulligan Stew with the CKUA Radio Network uh, and the Mulligan Stew Podcast. We were do- doing a very quick, brisk walk through this wonderful album called Open House from the Fretless. And we have uh, Eric Wright on the um, Skype phone, uh, actually from Vermont. I love the Brothers Landreth, and I'm going to stay there and just, uh, we're going to use that as a, your last track, uh, Let It Lie. Let It Lie by the Bros Landreth has, I just remember that was the first track I heard by them and my jaw just hit the floor. It's <laughs> such a beautiful, and 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 Joey's voice and the band's playing on that whole thing is just, it, it's, it's a magical production. And that was just such a no-brainer for us to, to, to do everything we could to get Joey Landreth singing that song on our album. It was just such an obvious choice. Uh, this is fantastic uh, music. I'm going to play, I'm going to leave it with uh, Let It Lie, Brothers Landreth. Um, will you be touring? You got some dates? As of right now, we're playing uh, in the uh, States, in the Northeast okay. uh, for December. Uh, and then I believe we're going out to uh, uh, the prairies in uh, Calgary, uh, Winnipeg, Saskatoon, Regina, uh, and hitting all of that in January and February, and then down into the States again, Montana, uh, and the West Coast. You're going to do the Canadian Freeze Your Ass Off tour. I can't believe uh, this it. Is, yeah, this is what I always say. You know, I've always said to Carnell, man, we are always ending up in your hometown in the <laughs> middle of February. It's just the uh, minus 40. I'll tell you, the first time I experienced that cold, as I, I'm from Vermont, I thought I knew what cold was. And, uh, when your tears freeze in your eyes when you walk outside, that's, uh, that's a different type of cold. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Listen, uh, websites, uh, Facebook page, uh, Instagram, how do we follow you? Yeah, um, our website is thefretlessmusic.com. Uh, follow us on uh, all the socials at The Fretless, uh, on Twitter, on Instagram, and Facebook, The Fretless. And uh, check us out on Spotify. Everything is out on Spotify under the fret list. And on CKUA. And on CKUA. Uh, Eric Wright, the cellist and one of four wonderful members of the fretless. The album is Open House. We're going to leave you with Let It Lie, Brothers Landreth, and the fretless together. I would, I would play big bucks to see this on stage live. I'll have to wait for that. Thank you for doing this. Hey, it was my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Eric Wright, the fretless. You get the summons, I'll be the fine I know my place, you can take your time You take the high road and I'll take the blame But take me in your arms cause it's all the same I may never see dear or say the words you wanna hear I can't always be the one to swallow my pride But if you let your walls down Maybe you would know how to leave this alone And let it lie, let it lie I wanted less, you needed more I shuffle my feet while you slam the door I was just happy to sit and sing Oh, oh my darling, you wanted everything oh, 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 I may never see, dear Or say the words you want to hear I can't always be the one to swallow my pride
selfish, that may be right. That my songs can keep you warm at night. You go your way, and I'll go mine. I know you're hurting, but you'll be just fine. Right, cellist for the fretless. If you haven't heard them, without spending any dough, just go and have a taste. Go and listen. Have a look on YouTube. See what they're up to. This album is called Open House, and it uh, has fabulous music in it. Ten artists and ten tracks in total. Check it out. It's really, 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 really good. Now, coming up on the Mulligan Stew podcast, Chief Clarence Louis of the Osoyoos Indian Band, one of the most successful and well-managed Indian bands in all of Canada and all of North America, frankly. Quite remarkable. You will know them from their wines, of course, Incomeep, or Spirit Ridge, the hotel, the resort, the restaurants, the, man, there's a new prison on their uh, land. There's a new uh, district village which has has, uh, samplings of various wineries around them, just everything. And he is a totally outspoken man who has written a book called Res Rules. And he's talking to all of us, yes, but he's really talking to the next generation of indigenous youth, Indians, the skins, as he calls them. He wants them to take over where he has, is because he's 38 years as a chief, and he wants them to ch- take over and make it even better. And he's challenging them. It's a great book, Res Rules. And he's a totally outspoken guy. Wait till you hear the interview. I'm also going to have a conversation with Rick Mercer, who's a Canadian superstar, hero, comedian, uh, actor. And he's written a book, his memoir, called Talking to Canadians. I'll tell you more about it as we go. It's all coming down the pipe. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Happy holidays. <laughs> 